So I know so many of you have questions about what is a stent? Why do you need a stent? What's going on here? Should I be concerned about myself? So today we're gonna break it all down. But before we start guys, um, remember if you want health news that you can use on a daily basis or you want celebrity health news, or maybe you just wanna know about that quirky health stuff that you've always just kind of wondered about, I'm your girl as I always say, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to get updates. So let's jump right in and talk about what a stent even is. When we talk about a stent in terms of the heart, we're really talking about a metal sort of uh, tube, okay, that serves to stent open or keep open rather an artery. Yeah, that's what a cardiac stent does. But let's back up a little bit first and talk about some cardiology, some anatomy and all that good stuff. We're gonna go back to med school for a second. Starting out with the heart, right? What does the heart do? It goes boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's what we like it to do. It beats and it helps pump blood all over the body and it does so many amazing things. But the thing about the heart is that it's actually a muscle itself. And it's a muscle that needs oxygen in and of itself to be able to function properly. So who provides oxygen to the heart muscle? Well, those would be the coronary arteries. Yes, my friends, the heart has its own specific arteries that wrap around the heart, feeding it oxygen and blood and things like that so that the heart can go boom, 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 right? You'll never forget this. And I know, I know you won't because of the boom, boom. <laughs> I know. Now, this is the thing, okay? The coronary arteries are just like arteries anywhere else. They can actually get blocked if there's too much plaque and cholesterol and all that kind of stuff, okay? Super important to keep this in mind. Segue for just one moment. You guys have heard of coronary artery disease, right? Or uh, heart disease. Well, when we talk about coronary artery disease, we're talking about those coronary arteries. That's those arteries that supply the heart with oxygen so it can boom, 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 boom. Those coronary arteries can get blocked. We know that heart disease or coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death. Guys, it's super serious. So this is the thing. In the coronary arteries, if they start to get narrowed, right? You got the tube, tube. And if that tube on the inside starts to get narrowed, what can happen here? Well, not a lot. Not a lot of blood can pass through that hole to provide oxygen to the heart. So what happens to us? Well, it, it's gotta give us a warning sign. So we get chest pain. We start saying, oh gosh, oh. That's our body's way of saying these coronary arteries are getting blocked. They're getting narrowed and we can't get the blood, the oxygen rich blood through there. Okay, so if that should happen, right? We start getting narrowed coronary arteries, those really important arteries that supply our heart with oxygen rich blood and help make our heart go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> um, if they get narrowed, well, if we're lucky, we can open them up. And how do we open them up and keep them open? Well, we want to stent them open. It's kind of like a hose. You know, when you used to play outside when you were a kid with like a water hose? What happens if you put a kink in that hose? Well, not much water gets through, right? Same thing with the coronary arteries. If there's a blockage there, not much oxygen rich blood can get through. So with a stent, we're actually taking a little metal stent, little open tube, and we're putting it, we're funneling it through that article, up. Uh, not article, we're funneling it through the artery to literally stent that artery open so it can stay open and the blood can travel through and supply the heart. So that's what a stent is. Now, maybe you know somebody that's gotten a stent or maybe you've had one yourself. We know that about 2 million people get stents every year. Guys, that's huge. So this is a relatively common procedure that happens a lot. And, you know, people often do very well afterwards. There's not always a lot of downtime. You know, many of my patients who've had stents are able to kind of get up and get going relatively soon after they get the procedure. But don't let that, you know, fool you in terms of its importance. It is so important. And I think in many ways it can be a wake up call and sort of a message to us to really keep our bodies healthy. So how do you keep your body healthy, you're wondering? How do you you avoid maybe having coronary artery disease or needing to get a stent or things like that the best things that we can do are honestly guys keeping a healthy weight making sure that our blood pressure is controlled that your cholesterol is within normal range that your diabetes is controlled that means taking medications if you need them that means eating a healthy diet and exercising it means not smoking um, and you know cutting back on high salt foods and things like that 
You know, guys, this is what's really important um, to keep a healthy body. And, and not only will those things help your heart, but it's going to help so much more. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. So if you want more health news that you can use on a daily basis, or you want to learn about that quirky health stuff, or maybe some celebrity health stuff, I'm your girl. Make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to get updates.